I won't date myself. <laughs> But my favourite Bible passages, and unfortunately there is hundreds of them, but my main contention is John 3.16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. What a wonderful, wonderful promise of hope if we accept it. I suppose it's uh, a lot of people's favourite, Psalm 23. Um, particularly at the bad times, it's it's the line about walking through the valley of the shadow of death that, that God is there, the rod and stuff is there to comfort. And um, you know that's that's really meant for something in the dark times of life and the time it's difficult. But God is there. One of my favourite Bible readings is the start of Genesis which is uh, how the world was made, the light, everything. Uh, I was asked to read this on a holiday in Blackpool and uh, I was rather taken aback when I realised it was 27 verses. But nevertheless, uh, I enjoyed reading it and I think it's the basis of Christianity, but uh, telling it how the world was really made. My favourite passage is, I will lie down asleep for the Lord makes me sleep in peace from Psalm 4.
photograph from the 500 yards away in Witted Churchyard in the spring to uh, Tunnel Beach in Dunedin in New Zealand. Uh, York is going to Singapore, Dimmingsdale, local woods. Uh, another one that means a lot to me is um, it's the first from James uh, chapter 3 verse 4 and I'll read it or take ships as an example although they are so large and driven by strong winds they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants them to go uh, my favorite Bible passage was one that I was asked to uh, present and deliver at my son's wedding in 2002 down in Amersham, uh, which was from Corinthians 13, and was all about love. the last three weeks I've never read the Bible as much as I have over the last three weeks but it's really been very interesting and I've got an awful lot out of it.